Why Students Fail the Permanent Residency in Australia Permanent residency is a dream carries by more than 75% of overseas students studying in Australia. And, why not? Australia is a paradise for anyone looking to settle in a progressive, laid-back and developing economy. It promotes multiculturalism and gives equal opportunities to everyone. Further, acquiring PR status brings numerous privileges and a chance for citizenship after two years on this status. The number of PR invitation depends upon the demand of skilled professionals in the Australian market. Thankfully, the Australian industries are growing and producing surplus job opportunities. It has created an excellent opportunity for skilled overseas graduates to apply for the PR application to the Department of Home Affairs fulfilling other eligibilities. Competition in getting a PR invitation has increased manifolds now. The number of PR invitations has come down from the skill select system while applicants increased rapidly. For pro rata occupations, getting the minimum qualification is not enough to be on the priority list. Hence, you need to look to improve the migration points with higher qualification, work experience, English proficiency score, and other factors. Compete in the occupation and regional place where competition is less to increase your PR chances. Rejection from the DHA for your PR application can be a blow to your Australian dream. It is frustrating and disappointing to fail in something that you have been trying hard to achieve. However, most of the rejections occur due to not complying to set rules and can't meet the eligibilities. Over 600,000 international students from more than 140 countries choose to study in Australia each year. Between the internationally recognized qualifications, safe environment and vibrant cities, Australia has become one of the best study destinations for prospective international students. If you want to study abroad in Australia, you need accurate and easy to use information to make the right decision. Here are six things you need to know when making your choice. Choosing to study in Australia will provide you with wonderful opportunities and experiences, as well as world-class education. Here are four reasons why you should consider Australia as your study abroad destination. Australia is an increasingly popular study destination with international students from across the globe. For many students, Australia may represent a better study destination than other popular alternatives female sits in library smiling holding book like the UK and the US. Read on to find out why. A welcoming place to live. Apart from being a great place to get a first-rate education, Australia is also a fantastic place to live. It provides a welcoming and multicultural society with a population that originates from around 200 countries. Australian people have a reputation for being amongst the friendliest in the world, and Australian cities are safe and clean, with low crime rates. A great lifestyle. The lifestyle and quality of living in Australia is among the best in the world. Several of Australia's capital cities regularly rank among the world's most livable cities. In 2018, the Economist Intelligence Unit's Global Livability Survey found that three Australian cities ranked in the world's top 10 most livable cities. Melbourne, Sydney and Adelaide ranked second, fifth and tenth respectively, a feat not achieved by any US or UK city. Better value for money. Australian education programs represent great value for money. Australian courses are often shorter than alternatives in other countries, particularly in the US. Most Australian bachelor degree courses can be completed in three years and even less if the education provider works on a trimester system. This means that you can save a whole year's tuition fees if you choose to study in Australia rather than in the US or the UK. High rates of employment. Australia's strong economy and low unemployment rates mean international students who wish to work have no problems finding a job. How many international students are studying in Australia? Group of students stand in circle holding passports. Australia is a popular study destination with students from around the world wishing to gain a top quality education. Each year, many new international students enroll in Australian courses and add to the already significant international student body around the country. Recent years, 799,371 international students were enrolled in education programs in Australia. Of these, there were 350,472 international students enrolled in the higher education sector. Where are Australia's international students from? The following international student enrolments for the top 10 nationalities, which made up approximately 70% of Australia's enrolments in all sectors. 
The largest number of enrollments in the higher education sector were from China, India and Nepal. The largest in the VET sector were from India, China and the Republic of Korea. The largest sector were from China, Brazil and Japan, and the largest in the schools sector were from China, Vietnam and the Republic of Korea. How many students fail the permanent residency in Australia recent years? It is hard to say how many apply for one of the permanent resident visas and the rejected. It is also possible to go from a student visa to a temporary work visa. I haven't been able to find any published figures on the number of visa applications rejected, let alone any that separate those on student visas from all others who were rejected. I do know that they have reassessed the country of origin risk factors and have been rejecting more student visa applications because they do not meet the genuine temporary entrance standard. Around 11,000 student visas were cancelled for various reasons including criminal convictions, but mostly for not complying with visa conditions like working full-time, not maintaining grades or failing to meet minimum attendance. I can tell you that in the recent program year there were 401,423 people on student visas. 133,019 of these moved to other visas. 27% went on to tourist visas. 22.7% went on to temporary graduate visas and 20.7% went on to another student visa. Source, student visa and temporary graduate trends. So, if you do the maths, that leaves 29.6% or 39,506 people who went on to another visa. Most of them probably temporary or permanent work visas, but some may have gone on to other visas like the partner visa. So, I don't know how many fail but about 40,000 succeed last year. Australia cancelled over 57,000 visas in 2017-18 Australia cancelled 57,440 visas last financial year, over 900 of those on character grounds, a Department of Home Affairs report has revealed. Those who were stripped of their visas on character grounds included outlaw motorcycle gang members, drug traffickers and sex offenders who were deemed an ongoing risk. The number of visas cancelled in 2017-18 was slightly higher than the previous year's 57,161. The department said its allos, airline liaison officers, stationed at various airports overseas prevented 205 imposters from entering Australia and got over 500 travellers kicked off flights to Australia due to their intentions of posing a risk, and there 4,500 people were refused immigration clearance after they landed in Australia. A total of 308,150 non-humanitarian visa applications were refused during the last financial year, compared to 238,335 in 2016-17 and 211,426 in 2015-16. The department said the increase in visa refusals was due to a more rigorous focus on visa integrity. Over 96,000 international students convicted of assault drug offences, robbery and sexual offences in Australia have had visas cancelled over the last seven years. I think, it's quite interesting videos, isn't? Thank you very much for your valuable time spending on this video please share and subscribe for more videos. My future videos are How to get sponsor visa How to get jobs in Australia before you enter Please stay tuned. Thank you very much.